Cindered shadows, the rite of rising. Ah, Professor, to what do I owe this pleasure? Ah, yes, of course you do. I will gladly tell you all that I know. Where to begin? If you have something particular in mind, please ask and I shall answer as best I can. Kind and wise. I would often see her in the library, her nose always buried in a book. Gerald was very much then as he is now. His knights would have done just about anything for him. Whenever he had time to spare, he would instruct the children of the monastery in combat and tactics. Just like those wide-eyed youngsters, your mother and I made a hero of him in our minds. When I learned that Geralt and Citri were to be married, I was quite surprised. Back then, Geralt was something of a mentor to me. As for Citri, she found it difficult to express her emotions. It was only when she was gazing at Geralt that I ever saw her smile. A smile that rivaled the very sun. His tales of the outside world must have seemed like a lifeline for one as frail and guarded as she. Indeed, she lacked the strength to travel beyond the monastery. The only souls she ever spoke with were a select few within the monastery walls. I can picture it now. The stories he told her, his striking words, and his boisterous laugh. Listening to him must have given her a great deal of hope. As for me, I could never have become like Gerald, as much as I wished for it. I suppose I did. He would tell stories from a century ago as though he had lived them himself. No matter how fervently one studies the stories of old, that is no easy task. Professor, you traveled with Geralt before coming here. You must have seen a great many things, yes? Forgive me for overstepping, but do you not regret foregoing your travels to take up residence here? <laughs> well then, I suppose I have no choice but to assist you as best I can. To shape young minds must afford you a unique perspective on the world. I am certain my unsolicited advice is nothing but a nuisance, but please, hear me out. It is my hope that you will live a full life, experiencing the world, fostering strong relationships with people. Do so for dear Citri, whose wish to experience such things shall regretfully never be granted. I cannot deny it. It is my own stubborn notion. One that her grace will likely not think kindly of. Beyond my personal motive, I believe that you alone can guide my flock to even greater heights. And perhaps you will learn from them as well. Ah, but I have taken enough of your precious time. Know that I am here for you. Always. Pray tell, Yuri. Did those foul bandits whom we bested at the arena confess to anything? Not a word. And they wouldn't name names. I got the feeling they didn't know much themselves. However, one thing is clear. Whoever hired them is after something here in Abyss. Yeah, that's gotta be it. They must have been on a treasure hunt or something. A treasure hunt here? I don't get it. What is there to find in these dingy tunnels? Belfric, was it? Looks like this is ringing a bell for you. Well, something does come to mind. But the notion is preposterous at best. Never discount a wild hunch. Sometimes they're closer to the truth than you'd think. Any lead will do, so long as it helps determine our next course of action. Please, go on. As you wish. Though, again, it is quite far-fetched. You see, there is a long-standing legend here. It is said that deep underground, below even abyss, is a place called the Chasm of the Bound, Wherein lies the chalice of beginnings. I've never heard of it, but chances are it's some kind of sacred artifact belonging to the church. 
I once happened upon an old document that mentioned a ritual called the Rite of Rising. The text was incomplete, so I was unable to achieve a full understanding of the topic. I cannot even guarantee the authenticity of what I read. But it stated that the Chalice of Beginnings is a sacred object, crafted by order of Saint Seros herself. Saint Seros apparently used the artifact to carry out the Rite of Rising, along with the Four Apostles. I vaguely recall reading about the Four Apostles. They were saints, and that's about all anyone knows. Hardly any records of them remain. Few alive even know their names, but these Apostles supposedly assisted the Four Saints with their holy work. It is also believed that Saint Seros attempted to perform a resurrection using the Chalice. However, the ritual failed. The Four Apostles bound the Chalice, so that it would never fall into a mortal's hands. The Rite of Rising, huh? Hmm... Ah, oh, yes! The Chalice of Legend! My father mentioned it to me a very long time ago. A secret treasure of the Church. A Chalice, powerful enough to resurrect the dead! Exhilarating, no? Quite. It is no small wonder that people are after it. Even so, we still don't have much to go on. We must gather more information about this legend at once. I wholeheartedly agree. I will do all I can to track down more clues within the monastery. Although Garrick Mach's library is so... well curated, I doubt any further records will be found. Wondrous! We shall do all that we can as well! Excuse me! I've only had the chance to speak with Elfric briefly, but he seems like a respectable man. It's obvious the whole town has a lot of affection for him. Kind of reminds me of Lenato in that way. I've got a lot of time on my hands down here, so I've been venturing even deeper underground. This place is loaded with winding paths and blocked off tunnels. It's a real maze. Only a few folks even know how to operate the gate mechanisms and hidden passages. That's what I said. Activate the mechanism and the gates slam shut. Bang! Actually, I'll level with you. Yuri and Constance are much better at scoping out that kind of thing. <laughs> the Ashen Wolves got their name from the beasts who guard the Blue Sea Star. The Archbishop named the house herself, in fact. In spite of that, it seems she looks unfavorably upon our house of late. This saddens me greatly. I heard Alfred came to Yuri's rescue in the attack that happened recently. That's just what you'd expect from someone as kind and strong as he is. I can't believe he's single. Judging by all her mystical-looking doodads, I think she's the real deal, too. I wonder if she does matchmaking. Maybe she can help me sort through my countless suitors. you require. Farewell. I see. Well, well, the Imperial Princess, the Crown Prince, and the next Sovereign Duke. Must be exhausting trying to suss out each other's intentions, huh? Nah, we get along great. I mean, you kind of have no choice. A petty squabble could start an all-out war. 
And it doesn't take a fancy title to have a hidden agenda. Isn't that right, Yuri? Cheeky. And off base. What do you think, friend? Do you think I'm off plotting nefarious deeds? <laughs> Not very perceptive, are we? Even so, that's a bit much, wouldn't you say? I do what I need to get by. Nothing more than that. As for the others, they've all got their own struggles. But they're nothing if not trustworthy. Humbling yourself while promoting your friends. Gotta say, I don't hate this side of you. Seems we're a mutual neutrality of one another. I like that you keep your cards close. We'll get along just fine, you and I. Abyss is a sprawling place. Some houses, like mine, are actually quite far from the center of town. What brings me all the way here, then, you ask? I came to see Elfric. Even a glimpse of him is said to bring good luck. Alfred gives out candy. Stick close by him, and you might get some too. But save a little for me, okay? Well, I'll be. Hey. Don't suppose you're here for a drink, huh? Maybe folks down here would. Who am I kidding? Well, maybe. Who am I kidding? Nobles are just as bad. Yeah. You've only been on the job a few moons, huh? No wonder you don't come off as a mindless church flunky. Plus, you don't flap your trap all the time. I appreciate that. I hope you never change, no matter how many years you spend with the annoying people up there. Folks who've lost their homes on the surface. Abyss is all they've got. The place used to be nothing more than a den of criminals who did whatever they pleased. Now, we got Elfric to keep an eye on things. And he understands that keeping people fed's the way to keep them calm. Yeah. Professor! Hey you, listen up. I've got something to report. The bandit sightings have stopped, for now. I still won't let my guard down, though. What else? Notice how everyone's in high spirits? You know why? I do. It's because Master Elfric is here. He's real special, that one. He saved my life and lots of others here, too. He's earned some hero worship. Four apostles. God, this is killing me. I'm on the verge of remembering something. I can't shake the feeling that one of their names is also a food or something. The record should be here some. Oh, <laughs> hello, Professor. It's good that you've come. I realized that I missed an opportunity to congratulate myself on my military achievements. But now that you're here, I have an audience for it. Indulge me, won't you? <laughs> Behold, the proof that the utmost honor in combat belongs to none other than I, Constance Von Nouvelle. What a relief to get that off my chest. Now, where did Alfred get to? I must have words with him. Professor. You? There was a time when I did much fighting. Then I was captured. Then I escaped. My home is far away now. My mother is waiting for me. But returning is... It is far away. I worry that I will be here until I am very old. Perhaps... 
Pardon the odd question, but something has been bothering me for a while now. Your hair. Was it always that color? That is an odd question. But yes, if you must know, it was a different color when I was a child. How could you know that? Is it possible that we met before the Academy? It's a long story. Now is not the time or place. Yes, of course. My apologies. I see. The answer is no. I will not allow it. It is far too dangerous. Ah, but if we can determine its origin, we may eliminate the very danger that vexes you. You already know this. But there are plenty of folks down here who can't defend themselves. If these attacks keep up, eventually they'll find themselves in harm's way. <sighs> yes, I am aware. However, for the time being, you must promise to refrain from acting recklessly. My dear Fluck has suffered enough as it is. You needn't take any further risks. Surprisingly overbearing, isn't he? He must really care about you guys. Most certainly. Yet, if we fail to nip this problem in the bud, I shudder to think what will transpire. Aha! It's you! In the nick of time, as it were. Come. Let us venture into the deep, deep underground. The Chalice of Legend awaits! But of course, deeper and deeper still beneath the monastery, to the chasm of the bound. Coco, you didn't hear a word Elfie said, did you? I surely did, but we must read between the lines. Elfric wants a solution as badly as we do. And so, we shall seek out the Chalice of Beginnings and present it to the Church. If our enemies desire the object, this should halt all future attacks on Abyss. <laughs> Brilliant, no? I'm not so sure about that. According to legend, there's some kind of binding that protects it from would-be thieves. Even if we find it, we can't just walk up and take it unless we figure out how to break that thing. Ah, but that is simplicity itself. We shall first ascertain whether it is still bound, and then we shall release it. But where is this chasm anyway? I've never even heard of the place, much less seen it. As luck would have it, I have discovered yet another secret passage. It appears to go deep underground. According to my superior instincts, it undoubtedly leads to the chasm of the bound. Huh, I suppose it's worth a look. I don't care about finding some old cup. 
But if it could help us protect the best, I'll support the cause. You surface dwellers do not have anything else to do at present, do you? You'll assist us, will you not? I don't have anything scheduled before my next nap, so I guess that's fine. Edelgar doesn't look too thrilled, though. <laughs> Splendid! It is decided. We leave at once. Feeling pretty lost right now. How long have we been walking? I'm guessing a full week. A week? Ridiculous. It's been a few hours at most. Exaggerations aside, if this takes much longer, I'm concerned about our lack of food and water. She's got a point. How about we trek a bit farther, and if we don't find anything, we turn back. Constance, I find it rather curious how quickly you became fixated on the chalice. Care to explain? Oh, I... no. Why would I be fixated on a silly little legend for some supposed ulterior motive? <laughs> <laughs> you want the esteem. You think this will convince the church to help you restore your fallen house. Oh, how could you possibly know that? <gasps> Have you been snooping within the confines of my very mind? I shall restore House Nouvelle to its former glory at all costs. <laughs> it's practically a catchphrase. Aha! Uh -huh. Just as I suspected. Constance is the former lady of House Nouvelle. Until just a few years ago, it was a house of Viscounts in the west of the Empire. They had a long and distinguished history. House Nouvelle lost its status five years ago, as a result of their part in the war. Huh. You speak as though it has nothing to do with you. I fear all I can do is ask forgiveness in place of my useless father. If doing so will comfort you in any way, then please accept my... Save your breath. That will not be necessary. There is only one thing that I desire. For the sake of my parents, who fell courageously and selflessly in defense of the Empire. For them, I shall restore our status, revive House Nouvelle, and return it to its former glory. All that I do, even spending each day advancing my magical prowess, is to that end. And in reward for all that hard work, you were forced to live underground. Life's cruel. It's like you took a shortcut back to the starting line. Or maybe you're just unlucky. What are you saying? I never intended to share that side of me with you. Look at that. It's a good thing we didn't turn back. That looks mighty chasm-like if you ask me. Say, are we beneath the bridge in the monastery? Incredible. Huh. I never thought I'd be gazing up at that bridge we've crossed a thousand times from way, way down below. Are we sure this is the right place? It is. I think. I believe. I hope. Constance, why are you hiding in the shade? Aren't you the one who insisted that we find the chalice? Fine. If you insist that I join you, then I shall. Satisfied? Oh my. I was quite rude just now. Please accept my humble apologies for treating you so foully. I presume too much to stand beside such noble paragons. Allow me to dig a hole to bury myself in. Uh. No matter how deep underground we are, I guess sunlight is still sunlight. Poor Constance. This is what Coco is like in the sun. That's why she lives underground. I fear I cannot guarantee that this is the chasm of the bound. I have almost surely wasted our time. Enough with the self-doubt, yeah? Just put one foot in front of the other. We'll have you back in the shadows before you know it. Cheer up, Coco. We need you. And now I have forced you into a state of pity. I feel so very worthless. I admit, I have never seen anything quite like this before. Is there nothing we can do to help? Happy? Keep Constance moving. If we don't start searching, we'll never find that damn chalice. Fine, I'll just push her a bit, I guess. 
I must ask you to cease. You shall soil your hands upon my filthy back. No soap could possibly... Huh? This feeling. I sense magic in the air. There is something just ahead. The binding spell, perhaps. I don't feel anything at all. Wait. Actually, I hear something. Something big. And it's moving. Perhaps there is something in place that is guarding the chalice. Yikes! What is that thing? It's like some kind of gigantic toy. I don't have the slightest idea what's going on. But I know it doesn't bode well. I don't know, it could be fun. It's been a while since I've met an enemy that could put up a good fight. Hey you! It's your master, pal! I'm gonna pummel you into my own personal shield! Closer than ever to my dream. How many we squash, more just take their place. Hmm. If those things were created to protect the chalice, there must be a way to deactivate them. If I may presume to offer my opinion, the statues may warrant scrutiny. Hmm. There must be a way to activate those things. I bet they require some type of key. You will befoul the sacred place. Leave now or perish. Sacred place? Sounds like the chasm of the bound, all right. I think I might have found the key. That thing over there is carrying it around.
I will prevail. Sure thing. Ready and willing. Eww. Battle. Who? I'll give it my all. The sun. Stay focused. Yep. I'll cut through. Let me at him. Is that all? That was tough. Didn't you hear? I'm dangerous. Could have been better, could have been worse. Stronger than I look, yeah? Thank <laughs> you. 
easy. Ready and willing. Never underestimate an outsider. Progress suits me well. I'll cut through. thing. Stay focused.
I could use a break. Who's next? Sure, pal. Combat. Give it my all. Doing my part. Who, me?
I'm definitely tougher. Such power dwells within. Definitely tougher. Huh. There's clearly something special about this key. Better keep it safe. up my sleeve.
blood and sweat was worth it. Merit I have pales beside yours. Never had a chance. I must keep aiming higher. Over already. Biggie. Well, baby steps, I guess.
May my foes someday forgive me. Out of my way. I'll never be satisfied. break. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's over. That is that. It's clearly not necessary. that a weakling to their demise. So this is what the goddess grants me.
such power dwells within? I must keep... Biggie. yet. Didn't even enjoy it. Ah! 
Even stronger than I look, yeah? Close call, but we did it. Our efforts paid off. <laughs> drawn on the rock over there. They look like crests. Whoa, what's going on? My crest. Oh, but look at the stone. There's light streaming from it. Look, there's something in that opening. Oh, can it be? Is that...? You would know best. It is beyond my ken whether that is the chalice. Curse my ignorance! Answer the question, will ya? Is it or isn't it? That quaking earlier. Some kind of containment magic related to the crests was in place here. Whether intentionally or not, the chalice was released. I hesitate to suggest that those things were the cause. Oh, perhaps one of our crests was the key to unbinding the chalice. Care to summarize that? My apologies. I have caused you undue vexation by speaking so incomprehensibly. Were I to venture a tentative guess, I would say that this is indeed the chalice of beginnings. You could have just said, this is it, all right. Forgotten crests resembling those of the Four Apostles, depicted on a sealed rock wall. Objects that resemble holy armaments, and a chalice that gathers magic all on its own. I don't know of any other legends that cover all of that, so this must be the chalice we're looking for. A thousand thank yous for covering my own inadequacy with such a competent explanation. I'm still not used to hearing you speak in such a manner. Forgive me, Your Highness. If I have displeased you, please take my life as a small gesture of atonement. Oh, your highest of highnesses, I doth humbly beg of thee to find forgiveness within your royal heart. Stop fooling around, Claude. And Constance, I assure you there is nothing to forgive. Hmm? I hear thunder. Rain is soon to follow. We'd better head back to Abyss before the storm hits us. Ugh, it happened yet again. Why must my good intentions always... Huh? What was that sound? It cannot be!